Mr. Cleland here from Cleland Maths. Today we're going to be looking at the seven times table. This is a request actually from my son, but I think it's applicable to anybody who's doing maths and doing their times tables. Remember to please put the thumbs up if you like this video and please remember to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell for further notifications. And let's get right into it. Seven times table, let's go. Seven times one equals seven. Seven times two equals fourteen. Seven times three equals twenty-one. Seven times four equals twenty-eight. Seven times five equals thirty-five. Seven times six equals forty-two. Seven times seven equals forty-nine. Seven times eight equals fifty-six. Seven times nine equals sixty-three. And seven times ten equals seventy. Okay, so we've got the first five numbers in the seven times table here again. Seven times one equals seven. Seven times two equals fourteen. Seven times three is twenty-one. Seven times four is twenty-eight, and seven times five is thirty-five. Now, these first five you should not have to memorise as new sums because you should already know. Obviously, seven times one and seven times two is just double and seven. Double seven is fourteen. 7 times 3, it's a 3 times table, 3 times 7 is 21, you should already know your 3 times table. Again, seven, same with 7 times 4, you should already know your 4 times tables, 4 times 7, which is 28. Or if you don't know your 4 times table, 7 times 2 is 14, double it to get 28, so 7 times 4 is 28. You double double for the 4 times table. 5 times table, most people should know, but 7 times 5 is 35. So really, to work out your 7 times table, you do not need to memorise the first 5. So you've now only got 5 more to go. So we've now whittled the 7 times table down into just 5 numbers that you need to know. But we can go one step further. We can take away another 2. Because 7 times 9 is 63. I'll get to how to do that in a minute very quickly. 7 times 10 is 70. That should be obvious. Just add a 0. 7 times 10 equals 70. 7 times 9 is 63. To work out that very quickly, and I will do another video on a 9 times table, but to do any number times 9, you take away 1 from a number, that gives you a first one. So 7 minus 1 is 6, and then you add to make 9. So 6 add 3 make 9. So I'll do that again. 7 minus 1 gives me 6, 6 and 3 make 9, so 7 times 9 is 63. So we've now went from having to memorise 10 different sums, we've got rid of 5, we've got rid of another 2, so that leaves just 3 sums left. If we can memorise 3 7 times sums, we now know our whole 7 times table. These are the 3 sums that we will have to memorise. 7 times 6 equals 42, 7 times 7 equals 49, and 7 times 8 equals 56. So let's do them one at a time. 7 times 6, 42. 7 times 6 is 42. 7 times 6 is 42. That's the one you need to remember. 42, 7 times 6. 7 times 7, 49. Now you can remember 7 squared. We like to know our square number. So 7 squared is 49. 7 times 7 is 49. So 7 times 7 equals 49. 7 times 8 equals 56. 7 times 8 is 56. So we need to memorise 7 times 8 equals 56. 7 times 1 equals 7. 7 times 2 equals 14. 7 times 3 equals 21. 7 times 4 equals 28. 7 times 5 equals 35. 7 times 6 is 42. 7 times 7 is 49. 7 times 8 is 56. 7 times 9 is 63, and 7 times 10 is 70. And the ones that we are going to focus on are memorising these three. 7 times 6 is 42, 7 times 7 is 49, and 7 times 8 is 56. In a moment, I will put up two or three random questions, give you a minute or two to answer them, just to test yourself. And if you really want to help yourself do your times tables, I urge you just to memorise these three answers. Use the fact that you already know these times tables for the first five of the seven, 
and use the little tricks I told you for seven times nine and seven times ten, and you will master your seven times table as quick as that. Quick questions. Seven times six. Forty-two. Seven times three. Twenty-one. Seven times seven. Forty-nine. Seven times four. Twenty-eight. And seven times eight. Fifty-six. Mr. Cleland here from Cleland Maths. Thanks for watching this video on the seven times table. Please remember to like and subscribe once again. And remember, if you want any more help on maths, please check the other playlists and videos. I will be doing more videos on the times tables and also some maths tricks that we can do to help with our basic analysis skills soon. Thanks again.